Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hare Bear had her sights on Tigger. This was Friday morning, but Tigger don't care. <laughs> Tigger is all about fun and big hairy black cats. Not an issue. You know, Hair Bear is coming up for, she's not even a cat yet, she's still a kitten. In, kitten. She came to me, or she arrived in the garden in February. I think it was January or February. I mean, she was a kitten herself then, she was a big kitten. she came and she stayed and played. I mean, she was one of those cats, kittens, that just slotted in. Everyone, all of the cats got on with her. Tigger. Come on, Tigger. Come on, Tigger. Yes, there were problems later with her and Kira. Still are. But You've got Mum Cat here, who doesn't have hardly any friends. Well, she hasn't got any friends in my cats. None of them trust her. They don't really like her. Hair Bear. Hair Bear is a friend. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is Harry. And Harry's one of my blind cats. There are seven blind cats and two one-eyed. And Harry is so intelligent. What he works out for himself is, sometimes it's scary what he can do. Now this is Scoots, and Scoots is another one of my blind Scoots. cats. Scoots! Kittens. He's another highly intelligent young man. Scoots isn't Scoots. big on trees at the moment. Okay. Whether that will come, don't know. He goes at his own pace, they all do. But for working like the work surface in the kitchen where the food is, he managed to climb up that within okay, hours, good, and it took Harry a couple of weeks to figure that one out. Tigger! It took William over here? a year. Hair bear. Tigger! So Hair bear has pursued Tigger down onto the lower wall. I mean, Friday was Tigger's first day in the garden, first morning in the garden. But he took to the garden like a duck to water. See, this is why Hair I don't always feel sorry for the cats. Some of you have said that Kira is cold and ruthless for pursuing Hair Bear, poor old Hair Bear. But here we have Hair Bear, the victim, pursuing a kitten. Come on it's in, Tiggers. serious. When it's like this, they're just being kittens and cats, they're finding their way, they're playing, sussing everyone out. It's when it gets to the stage of Woody and Kira. Tigger. Then it's then it him. becomes a problem. Well done, Tigger. Well done, you. Hair bear. This is just day-to-day -day stuff. <laughs> 
Mum, cat, and the kittens were in for breakfast yesterday. Chaos as usual. And then they went into the garden. And Tiny Tim, he played with his brother and sister for a bit, but then they went off and Tiny Tim stayed. Now he lives, he doesn't come in every night now. He's got himself a snug at the end of the garden, up the bank to the right, where Dodgers stays. I mean, it's so overgrown up there. There are places above the rocks, the old rock stone wall that you can get in and under. You've got protection up there. But whenever I walk down the garden and I call his name, he comes running, he appears. He's, he's one of these cats, he's a happy cat. He smiles. Another cat that's fitted in. One of you commented or asked the question on herding, shepherding a large number of cats. I'll touch on this later. It's, you know, sometimes I, I see a question and it's like people can read my mind. I was thinking about this last night. So, it was it's something I will uh, go into a bit later on. Don't forget it's uh, Rambler's Day. There's Harry on his cushion and the remains of another cushion. He loves sitting on that filling. <laughs> you ain't gonna sit on it for much longer because providing the weather stays okay, I'm gonna have a clear up in the garden. Here's William. William's my senior blind cat. This is his garden. He patrols his garden. He doesn't like strays coming in and he will fight them to keep them out. This is another amazing thing. A blind cat that's fight that will fight. And he's he's not afraid. He puffs himself up, all his fur stands on end, and he goes for the kill. I mean, so you comment about a blind cat knowing where another, another cat's tail is. Or when they jump, that they'll jump by the side of or in front of. How can they do it? How do they know? I, I don't know. But when William, um, when he sees, when he senses a stranger or a threat, he goes straight in. He'll jump onto the wood store roof and he will plough into a stray cat and fight the fur. He'll be screaming and fur will fly. But he can't see. How do they how do they know? How can they What I see some of you comment from day to oh, from time to time, how relaxing it is to, to see the cats and how they live. You're right, it is. I see it most days. And what they can achieve in their dark world, um, really I've got nothing to complain about. There is more to come everyone, would you believe, apart from the ramblers. I've taken so much video, it's because the weather has changed. You know, in the summer they struggle, but autumn, winter and spring is their time. It's their, they're in their element. And uh, there is more coming. If you're bored at any time, just let me know and I'll s slow down. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, you've liked it and you want to come back, please do, great to see you, love the views. I was reading something about subscribers yesterday. How times change. 
I'll touch on that later as well. Talk to you soon, everyone. After breakfast, after the Ramblers. See you later.